So, hi guys! So, this is Val, Arvin, and Ivy. And today, we have a special guest, which is Mr. Mark Francis C. So, today, we'd like to interview him since we are Tamashans, soon to be graduate. And Mr. Mark C. is a Tamashan alumni. Then, who's, who's taken? Oh, who's the ano? <laughs> okay lang, tuloy lang. Roll, roll ko lang. Na nag-take din ng marketing management like us. Okay, so let's start, sir. Okay. Okay, so to start, sir, a little bit of, the, uh, a little bit of your background first. So, initially, why did you decide to take up marketing management? Actually, I took up marketing management because um, I come from a uh, Filipino Chinese family. So I think most of you also are Filipino Chinese um, by blood, no? Um, basically, yung family ko kasi we um, uh, are part owners of a food manufacturing company. So my dad manages the business, and then um, I initially wanted to. Um, follow my father's footsteps to handle the business as well. So I was looking up to a lot of business owners. Um, so parang na inspire ako to to learn more about business. That's why I chose to take up marketing management. And then um, I'm also into I'm also an extrovert. So I like to talk with people, deal deal with people. So. Yun, basically that's why I decided to choose marketing. Chaka yun din sa ng mom ko. So, <laughs> so sayo ko kasi I wanted to initially take up HRM kasi parang parang I want to have a hotel someday or restaurant, parang ganyan. Tapos parang sabi ng ng parents ko, eh marketing ka na lang. So, okay. Mabuting anak pa pala si. Obedient. Ko na. Yes, sir. Um, do you still plan po na sa mindset niyo pa rin po ba? Yeah, of course. Actually, um, hindi naman nawala sa, sa vision ko to be a property owner, um, have my own building or have um, tagito, a resort or a hotel someday. So, it's it's always been a, a, a dream of mine. Siguro, siguro we start small, maybe put up a restaurant first or coffee shop, ganyan, and then grow it, grow it eventually. Um, that's yun. Basically, hindi naman siya nawala sa... sa sa goals ko. Oh. Pero as a student po ba, how were you how were you as a student parang paano niyo po ba pre-prepare yung sarili niyo for that goal? Seeing ah. na parang ang ambitious niyo pala. Ah, as a student, actually, <laughs> paano ba? <laughs> Siguro um bringing it back to when I was a student. Um, I've always been ambitious naman eh, ever since bata ako. So, I grew up, um, siguro, balik natin to where I took up my, my high school. Mm-hmm. So, I, uh, or grade school or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, um, studied in Xavier School. It's an exclusive school for boys. Primarily Filipino, Chinese, no? So, mostly nakita ko, um, yung mga classmates ko, they're very well off. Mm-hmm. Uh, they get to buy the latest gadgets. They get to have the latest toys. Um, lalaki ng mga allowance, ganyan. So parang, say, kung I want that someday also. So parang siguro dun, dun pumasok yung um, I want to be successful. And siguro na-set din yung, yung, yung goal ko na ma-achieve yung ganong type of lifestyle. So, yun. Um... After that, when I went to UST, uh, tuli naman yung ano yung yung goal ko of of becoming successful. Hindi naman nawala siya. But siguro some when I was when I was studying in UST, uh, I realized what I really wanted to be. Um, na I wanted to be a business owner. So yung lessons that I learned in UST and, and the people that I met there made me realize na. Parang na, na fortify lang na ako sa mga negosyante. Ang yun. Um, saan po, ano po yung mga hiniling mo nung student ka na magkaroon ng difference sa real world? Hiniling ko nung student ako. What, what do you mean? Sorry. Um, mga binalak, what did you wish po nung student ka pa? Um, actually, I don't know if... Siguro, hindi naman... 
uh, hindi naman marami tao siguro may alam but when I was fourth year college um, I actually ventured into actually no sorry I started siguro mga first year or second year college nag-work na ako part time sa family business namin so pag summer ganyan tumutulong ako and then nung fourth year naman ako um, I went into direct sales um, so I got to learn no, uh, about sales I got to um, grow as an individual and it allowed me to meet so many people and develop myself so siguro yung mga experiences na yun helped me um, become who I am today siguro and I think one of the the best things to do as a student is to always experience new things. So you open yourself to to challenging roles. You open yourself to um, a lot of careers, right? Um, there's a lot available right now. I think online. No? And the reason why we do that is to upskill already while you're still young, and not just upskill but also to to add to your to your accolades, to your to your resume, your experience. No? So by the time that you graduate, you have a certain level of of value already. Yo. Uh, sir, a uh, question lang then since you've mentioned yung inspired uh, inspirations mo nga, then uh, did you have an internship then during your time then and naging pathway then and you think naging pathway then siya sa kung Nasaan ka ngayon? Okay. Uh, actually, that's a very good question kasi um, to tell you frankly, it had a huge impact in me. Kasi when I was in fourth year, I went into a um, parang medyo startup company siya. I took up an internship in kind of like a not exactly a startup, parang small business. No? Mm-hmm. It was a IT company. So, yung IT company na yun, um, very small lang, parang less than 10 employees and it was situated in a condo unit na two bedroom so yun yung office no? and a funny story is when I came in that room I was wearing long sleeves black pants, black shoes tapos pagdating ko doon lahat ng mga tao naka t-shirt and shorts lang pati yung CEO naka t-shirt and shorts lang ba't ganito and then um, I was interviewed directly by the owner, CEO. No? Uh, so he asked me certain questions, kanyan, and then they, they, they got me as a, as a marketing intern. So it actually it actually opened my eyes to how to start a business, and then they also brought me to meet clients. They taught me how to do cold calling, and then they taught me how to do sales and then they, they also brought me to um, meetings with investors so since it's a tech company um, we were even tasked to have a project so our project we were to come up with uh, an idea and uh, to, to, to build an app to solve something Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. so uh, I was the project manager we came up with with an idea we came up with a plan um, but syempre, since medyo natapos na ako nun, hindi ko na na-execute. But, you know, it was a pretty good learning experience. And uh, right after my graduate, uh, right after my, my, I had 300 hours back then. So after my 300 hours, um, I was offered a part-time role uh, as a marketing associate. So I was a part-time marketing associate. I was working part-time there while I was going to school. So that, that helped me a lot and then uh, I told them that I was getting busy na. so they offered me to be a partner um, of a startup company. So the owners of or yung dati kong boss sa, sa, sa internship ko became my partners. So I actually have a, a, another business, it's a fintech company and I'm currently partners with dati kong boss. Diba? So, when opportunity knocks on the door, syempre, you, you grab it, right? I had no money, but I was willing to to make to make a way, no, to grab that opportunity. So yeah. 
you spoke na naging partners kayo. And that hmm. was when you were still a student pa. Na. Kaya pa kayo yeah, kayo? I haven't graduated yet. So I was fourth year. Second sem, fourth year. Yeah. As a partner, business partner with them, ano po yung parang naging ambag nyo dun sa business? Nga sabi nyo nga na hmm. you didn't have the financial capabilities, hmm. diba? So, okay. as, ano, ano yung difference when you were a business partner versus when you were just a part-time um, yun nga, marketing associate doon? Okay. So, I actually, while I became a part-time associate, I was also, parang pinagsabay ko na a while ago, I told you I was in direct sales. Mm-hmm. So, may sabay ko yun. So, mm-hmm. from there, medyo nakakaipon ako. Mm-hmm. I didn't have enough money pa rin. Mm-hmm. But, I was able to pull in a couple of, you know, like, six, 100 plus, 100 plus thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, and, I was, uh, since medyo may connections naman, um, nangiram ako ng money. So I, I I borrowed money mm-hmm. to invest. So mm-hmm. now I I own around ten percent, right? I, I used to own around ten percent of wow. that company. Mm-hmm. Um, and then basically I was tasked to look for clients, mm-hmm. and then basically marketing and sales. Mm-hmm. So parang marketing partner na lang ako. And right now I am uh, part of. Yeah, I'm a part owner. I used to be part of the board of directors, mm-hmm. and currently I am the corporate secretary of that company. So, yun, um, like what I mentioned, parang ano eh, when you grab opportunities, na parang may 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 malit na opportunity mm-hmm. parang ganyan, you never know what will happen, de ba? So why not just grab it, find a way to make it work, mm-hmm. even if it seems impossible, even if it seems like you don't have the means, diba? So, gawa ng paraan, diba? Yun. Sir, so parang, let me, sorry lang, ang dami kang question. So, parang you saw the potential in it. You're super willing to na manghiram ng pera and actually invest in it. Yes, yes. So, Is it because of the industry or dahil uh, lang nag-work ka na dun? Well, it's partly because of the industry but also because I trust my, my boss mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, is, and, um, he made me realize na sobrang laki ng market, sobrang laki ng potential. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I just, siguro medyo in-idol ko rin siya. Parang mm-hmm. naging idol ko rin na, ang galing na itong tao na to. He was still young. Mm-hmm. Uh, at that time, he was third, like 32 or 33. So around my actually around my age at that time right now, and I wanted to be like him. I wanted to have my own company. I wanted to to be partners with them. So when I was offered that role, I was you know I was grateful. Uh, so I was a student. You know what? Uh, what have I got to lose? You lose more when you don't try. Right? You lose more when you don't try because when you don't try, you never know. If you don't try, then the chances of you becoming successful in that certain um, potential uh, uh, breakthrough in a business mm-hmm. is zero mm-hmm. because you didn't even try. Mm-hmm. But if you try, you have at least 0.0001%, it's not possible. Diba? Kasi nothing is sure mm-hmm. in this world, right? So when we're, we're talking about, um, for example, you want a certain, you want, you want to be successful. It's not sure, mm-hmm. but you have to take a risk, mm-hmm. right? And risk, it, a risk is never sure. It's never definite. Mm-hmm. Yun. Sir, hypothetically, uh, if that at that time, di ba nag-invest ka in everything, you mm-hmm. said that there's the risk. Hypothetically, at that time, what if your business yung nag failed? Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you think you would react? And parang, act if in that and then yung jaan, maybe in another sense or in another aspect you encounter a failure. How did you actually manage yourself? How did you recover? Ano yung mindset nyo man? Okay. So to be honest, if I had failed at the time, I think honestly I would charge it to experience. Because at the end of the day, you when you invest in something or when you do something Siyempre, you don't plan to fail. You do what it takes to make it work. But if it doesn't work, that's life. You have to mm-hmm. move on. Diba? You have to keep on going even mm-hmm. if 
even if things don't go your way because at the end of the day in this world nothing really goes always our way mm-hmm. right at the end of the day when when for example um let's say um you want to you want to become a successful actor for example is it sure na you take a lot of classes you become a successful actor of course not mm-hmm. diba but there is still a chance that you can become that Mm-hmm. No? So you take that leap, you try, but if it doesn't work, then it's okay. Mm-hmm. You didn't lose that. You didn't lose. You, you didn't. You didn't lose. Wala kang talo dun eh. What you get there is experience. Mm-hmm. It's either you succeed, you win, or you learn. There's no such for me. Huh? There's no such thing as failure. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, when you fail, mm-hmm. you learn. You learn. So, parang hindi siya failure. It's not a failure. Learning it's, it's a learning experience. And that learning experience molds you to become a successful person if you use that failure in a positive way. Mm-hmm. But if you take it into a negative way, mm-hmm. then ibang usapan niya. Yo. Yes, sir, with the biggest dilemma question going around right now, do you think po ba na, um, again, diploma or discard? Oh, diploma or mm-hmm. discard. So do you think po pag hindi ka nakagraduate, let's say, for example, sa UST or kahit hindi sa UST will you say na uh, you're still going to be able to have the same opportunities not exactly the same pero like siguro similar opportunities that uh, to get the opportunity na maging isang marketing associate na mabigyan ng chance to partner with your boss yung ganun po sa okay so um, iba-iba ng opportunity ang tao but for me, whatever opportunity you have in front of you, as long as it's, it's an opportunity to grow and to level up, then wait, then grab it, mm-hmm. diba? So, it's not, for me, it's not about diploma. Kasi bakit ang dami naman successful mm-hmm. na hindi naman, hindi naman nakagraduate? Yeah. So it means it's not about the diploma. The diploma will help you mm-hmm. become successful because it's a stepping stone mm-hmm. to getting what you want. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a diploma, you become successful. Because there's a lot of people that have a diploma that are not even successful. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So it's actually more of the person. Eh. Mm-hmm. If the person is willing to succeed and does everything like does does everything it takes mm-hmm. to become successful and uses all of the things around him or her, um, utilizes it well, then he or she can succeed. But again, there's no guarantee in this world. Diba? So, yeah. Is there one thing po na you wish you could change before na sa tingin mo maka-affect sa career path mo right now? One thing I can... I wish I could change? Could do better na lang. Siguro, um... One of the things I I could or I wish I could have done better. So I could have uh, studied <laughs> or or improved my grades more. Mm-hmm. Um, because when I was in college, I was very confident. Because mm-hmm. I was passing mm-hmm. my grades without studying. Sorry, USD. Pero hindi ako nagaral masado. Hindi ako nag hindi ako review. Pag magfa finals. Sa, ang sagot ko, bahala na. Stock Ay, knowledge na lang. Stock knowledge na. <laughs> diba? So, pumapasa naman ako. So, say ko, eh, ba't pa akong gaaral? Diba? Parang, para sa, mag-enjoy na lang ako. Diba? Siguro, that's one of the things that I wish I could have done better. Kasi if I had, I had built my work ethic when I was in college and I, and I built my, my, how should I say this? The way that people perceive me. Mm-hmm. Because my my blockmates, some of them started a business. Most of them are employed. I mean, I just wish I could have imparted in them a different, you know, parang a different version of myself. To parang hindi asim ah, mark patakon yan or something, diba? or what, diba? Mm-hmm. Or to my high school friends, diba? Na parang I wish maybe I could have had better grades so that they wouldn't see me as you know, parang they wouldn't take me seriously because mm-hmm. when you have better grades, let's say you're a dean's lister or something, mm-hmm. diba? Um, they take you, people take you more seriously. 
because they know that you're hardworking, you're smart, um, you do well. Um, they trust you more. Mm-hmm. So, siguro it's the trust eh, with people. Because remember, na yung connections kasi natin. That's currency. Mm-hmm. Connections, connections, currency yan. So, what I'm trying to say is, if I had built my connections better, or if if I have utilized my connections better because um, I studied a little harder or I improved my grades better, they would have taken me more seriously. I would have had more opportunities. So, yun. Um, sa akin naman po, um, syempre lahat naman tayo may goals sa buhay, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hanggang ngayon, kahit mag-successful yung people, may goals pa rin silang gustong abuti. Ano po ba yung mga naging motivators nyo sa pag-achieve ng mga gusto nyong goal? Motivators to achieve my goal? Siguro, it's more of, ano eh, it's more of when you want to become, become, yun nga eh, like what I mentioned a while ago, parang, Medyo na mold na kasi parang namulat na ako na this is what it means to become successful. Parang in my mind there's already a, an image. It was painted already early on, which is yun yung important right now. Is you need to be in an environment, the right environment for you to grow. So for example, um, I'm sure you're familiar with birds of the same feather flock together, mm-hmm. yeah. stuff like that, right? It's true because if you surround yourself with let's say let's say for example you're an eagle right kunari are when you're an eagle mm. and you surround yourself with chickens who can't fly high all your life you grew up as a chicken but you're an eagle do you think you can fly no. probably not because you never knew that you could actually fly mm-hmm. you never knew that you could stretch out your wings you can fly high because you grew around just pecking things on the mm-hmm. ground Right? So that's what I'm trying to say is if if you surround yourself with eagles, even if you're actually a chicken, you can grow your wings. Because mm-hmm. that's how you know that's how that's how animals actually um, develop their limbs, etc. Because they adapt to the environment. And that's the way that we need to be as people, is we need to adapt to the environment. Right? If you if you want to be successful doesn't it also make sense that you need to surround yourself with success? You need to fill your mind with successful thoughts instead of, ah, uh, okay na sa akin, ano, tatlong beses ang araw, makain ako. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. That's, iba-iba ng version ng success ang tao. Okay? Pero, for me lang, if you want to be part of the top 5% of the population, you need to emulate the top 5%. Right? You need to emulate the way that they think, the way that they act, the way that they talk, right? Because actually, your inward world creates your outer world. Ibig sabihin, the way that you think influences the way that, that you feel, which influences the way that you act, and that also influences the results that you get. Okay? So fix your inner thoughts in order to improve your outer results. Yun lang. Sir, kasi, diba, it's uh, not easier to say na surround yourself with the right people. It's a lot easier to say na isipin mo lang kasi maging successful ka. Pero, sir, how about if parang the person, no, not necessarily us, pero a person na medyo mas pessimistic siya. Parang for him or her, mas realistic na isipin yung mga negative. Kasi parang, diba, not all people naman uh, they view life positively. Mm. More people will view life in a more negative way na parang, eh, mm. kasi may ganitong factors and they mm. can't help para to risk those things. Maybe mm. because financially, mm. pag nagkamali sila, yun, it's about survival na. Hindi mm. na siya about just, ano, going to the top for 5% kasi talagang, hindi ganang kadali dumadating yung opportunity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so my answer to that is basically not everyone is meant to be at the top. Not everyone is meant to be successful in that level. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Because for you to be successful, you need to be set apart. Mm-hmm. Success has a standard. Mm-hmm. Okay? So if you can't meet that standard, then you won't reach it. Right? So for me, lang, 
hindi naman lahat ng tao magiging negosyante. Mm-hmm. At the same time, hindi naman lahat ng tao magiging Manny Pacquiao eh. Bakit? Kahit pag mag-boxing pa ako everyday, magiging Manny Pacquiao. Of course not. Right? Because success is actually, um, how should I say this? Parang, it's exclusive eh. It's an exclusive thing there na parang hindi lahat ng tao magiging ganun eh. It's meant parang, to be like that. Mm-mm. In that sense po, eh, ano lang, if, uh, if you have an answer na po, di ba parang you're kind of contradicting yourself with what you see na if may gagawin ka, huwag mo nang isipin yung baka mag-fail ka. Mm-hmm. You're, you're actually planning to be successful. So, mm-hmm. di ba parang when you see na, ako, yung reference ako kay Manny Pacquiao, mm-hmm. sinabi niya na, oh, pag ikaw ba, nag-practice, nag-training ka every day, magiging mm-hmm. na ba? Parang you said no, di ba? Mm. Parang gets to yung point mm. is mm. na parang uh, yung point is is like lahat tayo magiging successful uh-huh. at some point. We just have our own success stories. Correct. Yung case where mm. successful siya sa business, siguro yung ibang tao successful sila sa family. Sorry, <clears throat> sa family nila. Mm. We have our own success mm. stories Tama. and yung time na na. Yun. Correct. So actually, yun, yun din yung yun din yung sagot dyan. And at the same time, uh, yung society kasi hindi talaga lahat pupunta sa top. Okay? Hindi talaga lahat kasi that's that's if it will be an imbalance to the society if everyone is the same. Right? Kung lahat ng boxing ay naging kumain pa kaya lahat ng Can you imagine how many presidents do we have in the country? How many? How many? How many presidents? So isa. Bakit isa lang? Eh bakit hindi na lang lahat ng government officials president? Kasi there would be an imbalance. Mm-hmm. There's no hierarchy. hierarchy. At the end of the day, society is built as a hierarchy. The strongest um, structures are built like that. Diba? So, at the end of the day, that's life. Eh. Mm-hmm. We, we, have to, we, have to, we have to be, you know, in a sense, You want to be idealistic. You want to you want to push yourself to your limits. But everyone has a peak. Mm. You can raise your peak always pero laging wala eh nandito na lang talaga eh. Pero basta push mo sarili mo to your best potential. Yun yung sinasabi ko. Lahat ng tao maging successful. Okay? Pag pinush mo yung sarili mo to your potential. But at the end of the day, hindi kasi hindi kasi lahat magiging ganun eh na parang sobrang sikat, sobrang successful. I guess mm. nyo? Yes, ma'am. Pero, it's not bad. Mm. Why? Is it bad na you push yourself to your limits? How far can you go? Mm. Diba? Makikita mo na how far, how far you can go. But, then, hindi sabi mo, I'm content. Mm. Because there's contentment. There's contentment. There's a time where you say, okay, this is, this is how, this is my peak. I'm good. But also you don't stop na para. But but I just I just let go of everything and man. At the end of the day. Dai ko in example si Manny Pacquiao sorry ah pero kasi he starts from the ground mm-hmm. went up. He's at the peak. Right? Pero when he retired, hindi naman siya nag-stop mag-boxing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boxing mm-hmm. 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 training just like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan. I'm sure they're still You know, they're still doing their sport. Mm-hmm. You know, they're still they're still doing their what they love. Mm-hmm. Para hindi mapurol, no? Mm-hmm. Pero it doesn't mean that they're gonna be at that level the whole time because time, you're time right, naman right. Okay, expire. Time natin sa buto nag expire. So yun lang yung point. Parang at the table. Parang ano? No? Ang kiti kabi ko don is you keep trying and trying. Wag ka magsustop. Pero at some point, mahanap mo yung position mo. Mm. And when you're there na, hindi ka din magsastop. You still mm-hmm. like, keep trying. Pero, kung baga yung sabi niyo, di ba? you found your contentment there. Mm. I think that's very, ano, very okay. insightful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw may gusto mo ay follow. Sir, question ko lang, sir. Um, do you think po ba yung, there's a, di- a big gap na lang, a big gap difference po sa mindset na generation niyo, sa generation na. Ah, ah, millennial gen. Okay. <laughs> millennial okay, gen. This, this, this is one of my favorite questions. Uh, my, my favorite questions to answer. Um, to be honest, 
Uh, so I'm a millennial. Mm-hmm. Okay, I grew up. Uh, I was born 1993, and I think millennials also have an advantage in the sense that we were able to see that the world before was not as fast-paced as it is now. Not everything was so simple na, uh, as compared to, you know, now, the bad date. For example, we experienced dial-up internet. Okay? What is dial-up internet? Probably the kids don't even know what the dial-up internet is because all they're familiar with is a Wi-Fi, right? Or data, right? LTE, whatever, 5G, right? Probably they don't even know how to use like the the telephone in ikot na ganyan, the numbers, right? They probably don't even know what a fax machine is or or a beeper or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Or a VHS. Mm-hmm. What I'm trying to say is we saw that. And then we saw how slowly things were changing. Like for example, we started with I don't know if some people can relate in our audience, no? <laughs> but we had um, Yahoo Messenger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had Messenger. Friendster. We had <laughs> Multiply. We had all these things, right? Um, and Yahoo was so big before, right? So parang the point ko lang is we saw how times changed into what it is now. Na, na medyo lumaki kami na hindi sobrang bilis ng mundo. Okay, it's, it wasn't so easy to access information. We had to we had to um, what do you call this? Go to the library to access information. Unlike now, where you just go to Google and search, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. Hindi kami sobrang hindi sobrang dali ng buhay namin. Medyo nahirapan kami. Na-experience namin yung hirap. And that's what made us who we are today. The Gen Z, however, by the way, my younger brother is Gen Z. He's, he was born 1999. He's kind of like right smack at the middle of millennial and Gen Z. Okay? 1999. It's like almost 2000. Same age pa na kami, Yes. Okay. Our difference is, so, so, it's more of like, He's Gen Z is very very ano eh, very techy, mm-hmm. mabilis mag-isip, you know, very very talented. Ang, I would I would dare say that the Gen Zs are better than millennials at a lot of things mm-hmm. because your brains just go super fast, okay? It's super fast and dami nang iniisip, sobrang bilis. But the problem is, okay, so this is the biggest problem. The biggest generation gap between a millennial and a Gen Z is this. It's called grit. Okay? Grit. Because kami, nasanay kami na mahirapan to get what we want. But right now, what we experience, or what I'm seeing from the Generation Z right now, is it seems like when times get tough, they just find a way out and find something else. Kung baga, ayaw, mo, ayaw nilang i-push through yung hirap. Gusto nilang maghanap na lang ng better way out. Like, just find another job, find another job, find another job. It's not bad, because you guys know your worth. Mm-hmm. But, also, life isn't like that. Life is meant to, to be hard. Mm-hmm. Okay? It's meant for you to learn through the hardships for you to grow into a better version of yourself. Can you imagine if, for example, let's say na lang, you want to play basketball. Mahil ka mga basketball? Okay. You want to play basketball, lahat ng, lahat ng tier mo pasok. Never ka nagbintis. Masaya, di ba? Okay. Okay yun. What if walang rules? So, pwedeng magsunto ka na lang. Ayos sa court. You get whatever you do, whatever you want. Diba? Walang kahirap-hirap. Masaya ba yung game? Of course not. Life is like a game. There has to be challenges for you to grow into a better version of yourself. So, if you don't like challenges and you don't like the idea of challenges because ayaw niyo mahirapan in order to achieve success, then it, that's, that's not how life goes. We as millennials understood that you need to experience hardships. You need to fail in order to succeed. But mostly from what I see from Gen Z is they would find 
they want to outsmart the system. You get what I'm trying to say? They wanna, they wanna, um, parang from level one, they wanna go level ten and then level fifty and then level one Short hundred. Shortcut everything. Because I don't know, probably because that's the the world that they live in. We just get everything instant, and that's the bad thing about the world right now. Is everything is so fast. But that's not necessarily a good thing because you know you need to you need to to enjoy and to savor certain moments. You need to experience certain things in order to actually learn from it. You need to push yourself. If you don't push yourself, then. Yeah. Sir, I have this friend. Actually, para siyang yung minention mo. Mm. Uh, she kept on trying out new jobs. Every time na kapasok siya, parang ilang weeks lang or every time naman sa sabi niya, this is not for me. Mm. Tapos very ano, uh, she's a graduate of Ateneo mm. and ganda ng course niya, maganda grades niya. She's very intellectual and mm. magaling siya magtrabaho mm. even from high school pa. Pero <clears throat> she kept on telling me na ayaw niya tong job na to. Wala naman siyang problema sa job, pero it's just not for her. Too fast-paced, parang the people are... Parang, basta every work niya ma-encounter niya, may problem siya. Tapos sasabihin niya na, ayaw ka na dito, I want to look for another job. Tapos actually, she's uh, changed jobs, I think, three times na. Okay. Yes, pero medyo may klik-klik lang siya. Or even more pa. Pero okay. yun, kasi in her defense, parang she knows she could do better pa. Parang she hasn't found lang the right industry or right job for her. Kaya she kept changing jobs or she kept looking for other jobs. So parang sabi niyo kanina na it's about grit. Parang according to her, may grit naman siya pag gusto niya na talaga. Okay. Pero it's just that parang for her, there's I mean, there must be something na mas better. Ayoko mag stay dito na right. nagsasaya na ako right. ng oras. Right. Because um, basically, uh, Gen Z know their worth, right? Mm-hmm. So they say it's not for me, it's not for me, right? Um, for me, there's two takes on this. Eh. One is you could use that as an excuse. Going back, so one way I see this is it's actually it could actually be an excuse. Okay, it's, it could be an excuse to not like go through the hardship second second take ko dito is probably tama naman siya na they know their worth you know it's it's not for me pero my thing is um even if you feel like it's not for you and you only stay for like a week a month or or, or two months what did you actually learn you didn't even give yourself time to maximize that work that specific work so when you keep on jumping and jumping and jumping to different jobs okay you try one thing it's not for me you skip again you're missing out on so much ex- other experiences that you could have learned so you think you're shortcutting things but they're actually uh, there's no such word as long cut okay pero parang pinapahaba mo na lang pinapahaba mo siya kasi you're not learning what you need to learn Skipping. per milestone or per job okay for me ah, you give yourself at least a year or two in one job before you jump it's not bad to jump but you give yourself one to two years to grow and to really push yourself to your maximum kasi baka naman mahirap lang kunwari parang pag nag gym ka ang bigat naman na ito ayoko na how will you grow your muscles mm-hmm. diba Swimming ka. Ang hirap naman. Eh, paano ka matututo mag-swim? Mm-hmm. Basketball, ang sakit sa legs. Paano ka gagaling mag-basketball? Mm-hmm. Na, get same point ko. Pero, you have to give yourself time. And then, pag tinry mo na talaga lahat at hindi talaga, then that's the time you tell yourself, maybe it's not for me. Kasi, you need to give it time. Great things take time. Right? For you to develop a skill, it's repetition, right? Argu- arguably, the best shooter right now in the NBA is still Steph Curry because he still shoots a lot of shots. Mm-hmm. Right? Why is LeBron still at top shape? Because he still practices even if he's old, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. So the younger players now, for example, in basketball, mm-hmm. the problem is they just want to be flashy, you know, they just want to 
shortcut everything. Yeah, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't become like the greats before. That's why they say this generation is soft. Okay, <laughs> this generation is soft because you don't want to experience hardships. hardships. I'm sorry to say, but that's the truth. It's the hard cold truth. Any final thoughts, sir, or advice, po, to share with us or our our audience, po, especially then sa mga graduating students then no marketing like us. Hmm. Okay, so my biggest advice for you guys and for the ones that are watching right now that are probably around your age, no graduating, is to like just. Keep on trying out new things. Uh, don't give up, diba? Parang like what I just mentioned, no? Yung kakatapos lang is you need to give yourself time to learn things, like to develop yourself, no? You need to embrace challenges and and embrace hardships. Okay. Um, I learned this from from uh, one of the. Uh, personal development uh, seminars I attended. So, it's called resilience. It's grit plus resilience. Okay? So, it's fused into one. Because, most people in the Philippines are actually resilient. There's a typhoon. It's okay. We're positive. We're smiling. We're happy. Right? Even if mahirap, it's okay. Right? But, they're not as gritty as they should be. Mm-hmm. Try and say is, ayo din na mahirapan eh. Mm-hmm. Ibig sabihin, kaya nilang, kaya nilang maging masaya amid certain challenges, which is good. Because mm-hmm. they're very positive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, they're not, they should be more gritty in order for them to become successful. Mm-hmm. So, you need both eh. yeah. Grit and resilience. Resilience allows you to be positive amidst challenges, mm-hmm. amidst negative emotions mm-hmm. so many people right now are struggling with mental health are struggling with emotional instability etc mm-hmm. right it's so branded in so many things and having scientific studies but does it mean that 50 years ago that's not real walang mental health issues i'm sure meron mm-hmm. but the way that they handled all these issues it's completely different from how they're handling it now mm-hmm. you get what i'm trying to say so Grit plus resilience. Okay? So, resilience is that. Grit naman, it's very important because you have to have that mentality that, um, you know, like for example, si Kobe has this 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 mamba mentality, right? Mm-hmm. Wherein, he just wants to be better. He just wants to succeed, right? Even if mahirap, go lang ang go, and he wants to be his best. And that's what grit is. No? It's going through tough challenges, right? In order for you to get to your goal, right? And uh, last thing, you need to plan your life. Like, because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. My yes. my biggest yes. advice, guys, create a. No matter how no matter how weird this sounds, but you need to create a dream board. Okay, to create a dream board, you set a deadline mm-hmm. because it's different when you just. Put in pictures, write down your journal, diary, mm-hmm. but there's no deadline. Students, I'm sure you can relate to this. If a teacher gives you a project and there's no deadline, you'll be so chill about it. You'll be so relaxed na parang, okay lang yan. Tagal pa naman. Tagal pa naman yan. <laughs> there's no deadline eh. You should have a deadline. So if a project has a deadline, you think of your life like that. You put a deadline. Hey, I'm, how old are you guys? 24, 24 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, you set a deadline apart. hey, how should I be like when I'm 30? What is the 30-year-old version of me dapat? Like, should I have? What type of car should I be driving? What type of house should I have? Okay, what type of job should I have? Or should I have a business? How big should it be? And, okay, so... You need to be smart, right? When you say be smart, begin with the end in mind. Begin with the end in mind, meaning you see your success before you succeed. Mm. Next is you need to be specific, okay? So, when you want a car, and you just say you want a car, 
you need to be specific about what exact car because you can say I want a car but you get a toy car <laughs> okay measurable okay it has to be something that can be measured mm, otherwise it's not really a goal it's only a wish has to be attainable right mm. has to be attainable okay so it has to be something that's tangible okay Re realistic for me realistic is dependent on where you are but I would dare say you need to change the R realistic into risky because if you change the realistic into risky it's better because mm -hmm. risky is parang something that will stretch you out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. because your com outside your comfort zone lies your income zone your growth zone that's where you need to be always going out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. in order to grow okay so lastly is time bound so when you say time bound again there has to be deadline, deadline. Yeah. you put by 2027 by 2028 the mm -hmm. this age etc so write down your goals the it's, it's that simple you need to visualize it diba? so sure to inspire you um See, see, you know, see, um, Henry Ford. Sabi niya, if you think you can or you can't, you're absolutely right. Okay, so, yun na. Para sa akin, if you think you can or you can't, you're absolutely right. In short, think like you can so that you can. Mm -hmm. Diba? Don't, wag mo pangunahan na, hindi mo pala, hindi mo ka, hindi, hindi, hindi ko kaya to eh, hindi ko kaya to eh. Hindi, kaya mo yan. Isipin mo kaya mo. Hindi yung hindi yung isip mo muna. Hindi ko kaya. Kung feel mo din mo kaya, kayanin mo. <laughs> Guess mo, kayanin mo. 'Di ba? Kasi kaya naman talaga. Eh. 'Di ba? The only thing that sets you apart from being successful is yourself. Your limiting beliefs. Right? Break the limiting beliefs you become successful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, so, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys.